In this age of enlightenment and technological advancement, many people around the world are becoming more conscious of the sentient nature of our animal friends. A plethora of research data has also been released confirming the huge health benefits of adopting a plant-based diet. Vegetarians reap benefits not just limited to weight loss, but related to holistic health as well. The body benefits from the natural nutrients and the mind is released from daily stress. As a result, many people are switching to a healthier and more compassionate vegetarian or vegan lifestyle. To support this noble way of living, many vegetarian restaurants are springing up in many countries around the globe. For this segment of Vegetarianism, The Noble Way of Living, we'll take you to the east side of Los Angeles, California in the USA with Emmy Award winning journalist and author Jane Velez Mitchell to visit One World Vegetarian Cuisine. One of the reasons One World Vegetarian Cuisine is becoming so famous is that they do so much charity work for amazing causes and they bring dishes huge, huge, huge platters to so many events in Los Angeles that are loaded with celebrities and stars. The organizations promote vegetarianism and this restaurant promotes vegetarianism so together they can also show people who go to these charity events how fabulous this food can be. And we've got two people here who just went to a charity event that uh, One World Vegetarian Cuisine catered. You were tasting the food, and tell us about what your experience was with the food at the Animal Acres event and, and how it ended up bringing you here. It was amazing food. We've never had it before. We were looking today for some place to go to, to lunch. We're, we're standard vegans. It was the most amazing food. If you're a vegan, you can't really go to many places that are better than One World. Why are you vegan? I'm vegan because I, I don't want any other creature to have to suffer for my nourishment. And how long have you been? How did you get there? I've been vegan almost five years. And uh, I was vegetarian first, and then when I realized um, all of the cruelties that the dairy industry and the you know the egg industry inflict on animals. Um, I just I couldn't live with myself anymore eating dairy and uh, and eggs. Now I, I don't know about you, but for me, when I gave up dairy, that's when I got the big payoff because I was sort of this um, shellfishitarian. I was pretty much a vegetarian for for years since I was a kid. But I I ate shellfish and I rationalized myself. Well, I want to have something to eat when I go out to a restaurant. And then I ran into. Uh, Howard Lyman, who wrote Mad Cowboy, and his publicist, who was a big activist in her own right, said, I hear you're vegetarian, sort of, you know, do you eat dairy? And I said, yes. And she, she looked at me and she said, liquid meat. And as soon as she said that, I kind of, it, it just did something to my head because I always separated dairy from meat, and I never ate dairy products after that. This is 10 years ago. Oh, let's check out the food. Let's check out the food as it comes in. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, Look at that. Stuffed tomatoes, I believe. Yes. Okay. You feel better going totally vegan, giving up the dairy? I feel so great. I'm actually an ultra marathoner. And so a lot of people, you know, they, they ask me, where do you get your protein? You know, you must be so unhealthy and everything. And then I tell them that I run like 75 miles a week. And I think that kind of speaks for itself. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, take a look at this. Take a look at this food. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Wow, and this one catches my eye because I love lasagna. This is a vegan lasagna. Yes. Absolutely fabulous, and the cheese is soy cheese. Okay, serve it away. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at this. I can't, I mean, this food, look at this. This is so exciting. 